Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Adam Shoemaker, rector here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. I hope that you and yours have a blessed Christmas season and are able to receive the gift of God with us, the gift of God's love that we uh, celebrate uh, in the church. I'm here to pray with you today using the words of the 105th Psalm as we continue to pray our way through the Psalms here at St. Stephen's. And this is a lengthy psalm, uh, so I will uh, just be reading a portion of this psalm. I will be reading the first 15 verses of this psalm. Uh, and the 105th psalm begins at the top of page 738 in the Book of Common Prayer. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done and his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God. His judgments prevail in all the world. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac, which he established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel saying, To you will I give the land of Canaan, to be your allotted inheritance. When they were few in number of little account and sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another, he let no one oppress them and rebuke kings for their sake, saying, Do not touch my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Give thanks to the Lord, the 105th Psalm begins. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. Friends, on this Christmas day, let us rejoice in the gift of God's love. Let us give thanks for it and make his deeds known among the peoples. Make God's love known in the way we live our lives, in the way we strive to incarnate the love of God uh, to all our neighbors, to all God's beloved children, and especially to uh, the lowly, the marginalized, the outcast, um, those who, like the Holy Family, um, have nowhere to lay their heads, for they are especially close to God's heart. Again, friends, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas um, as we celebrate on this Christmas day and throughout this Christmas season. We'll be back with you on Monday to continue our journey through the Psalms. Uh, in the meantime, uh, be safe, be well, uh, have a good weekend and a blessed Christmas. Um, and you, now and always, keep the faith.